Good morning and welcome to TaylorMade, where every day is an opportunity to bring fashion and style into your life. I'm your host, Brian Rada, and we're here on EmpowerMe.tv, where today we're talking Chanel menswear, Ralph Lauren's cabin in Colorado, women's sheer skirts, and fun things for the fitness fanatic for Christmas. We are joined today here with Miss Asha Daya of Girl Talk HQ. Good morning, Asha. Hi, Brian. I know you're speechless. I'm here. It's okay. It's going to be a great show. Let's talk fashion. <laughs> yes, let's talk fashion, shall we? First up, women's sheer skirts was a huge trend this week. We here at TaylorMade want to keep you on the cutting edge with all the latest trends out there in the fashion world. And this week, we had some major celeb power out there rocking some sheer length knee skirts. First up, we have Amy Adams. She attended the Los Angeles premiere of her movie, American Hustle. This is a striped David Coma design. Absolutely elegant, and I really like the silhouette that she created here. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, the next up, next image we have is at the premiere of her film, The Invisible Woman, shocking pink pumps. I love these. They had a great pop of color to Felicity Jones' Dior Ensemble. Of course, she's a British actress um, seen in the 2011 movie Light Crazy, which I love. She Great was, outfit. Yes, absolutely. I love the color in the shoes there. And next we have the entertainer of the year, Miss Sandra Bullock. She is rocking a floral version of the sheer trend here at the bottom of her dress. This is a lovely Carolina Herrera ensemble, and she's at the Tokyo premiere of Gravity. Absolutely love Sandra Bullock. So thrilled she won entertainer of the year. Yeah, absolutely. She deserves it. Mm-hmm. And the next image we have here is actually at the Materia de Arts. This is uh, just from two days ago at the uh, runway in Dallas. We see the sheer look actually extending past the knee all the way to the ankle. So you can wear sheer many different ways. And this is just straight off the runway from two days ago in Dallas. Really, really fun. Now, I know when you're thinking straight off the runway, it's probably going to be expensive, but we've got a more affordable version for you ladies out there who want to try this look out. Check out the Max Azria BCBG. This is a beautiful, beautiful silhouette dress for $145. So you can have the sheer look too. And uh, hey, Brian, I actually didn't know you were a huge fan of Sandra Bullock. Yeah, I love Sandra Bullock. Are you kidding me? Sandra Bullock just, she seems so sophisticated. You know, she's classy. Yeah. She can talk to anybody, right? And I, I love that she's not just an artist, but also a businesswoman and a great producer as well. She really, she's got the full package. And I love that she seems to be the kind of girl who's going to go to all these swanky events and she's going to be the one drinking a Corona in the corner with her friends going, what is going on here? I don't belong here. <laughs> exactly. And hopefully before long, <laughs> Asha, you and I can be her friends talking yes. to her at the party. Put right? it out there in the universe. <laughs> exactly. Well, just, just as a takeaway from here, ladies, if you're into sheer, now's the time to go for it. It adds a little bit of flirtiness and especially if you put it right at the, ball, uh, right at the bottom of, of the gown that you can find. It adds a nice layer of sophistication. So be on the lookout for those sheer dresses in your local local department stores. Okay, next up we have, um, speaking of that lovely, you know, Dallas art show, it was such a huge event, we wanted to take a closer look at the menswear. Uh, Karl Lagerfeld from Chanel put together some amazing, amazing looks here, and he actually was quoted as saying that his cowboys are transposed. Hmm. Well, we do definitely agree indeed. Uh, what we saw here was that, um, the, all the models that rock the runway here, everyone was wearing fringe, feathers, beadwork, and remarkable fabric treatments, all with the look of the Southwest and the craft of Chanel's specialty ateliers. One had to get up close to see all of the, of the fine details, but they were there indeed. Two of my favorite looks were actually this really fun combo of a father and son from day, as you can see them here, to night. And if you notice the mm, detail here, cool. the little boy is actually carrying a little gun in his hand. It's very post-Civil War here. It is, and you know, it's kind of probably highly inappropriate for a kid to carry a gun, but since it's a Civil War outfit, I guess we'll allow it, right, Brian? <laughs> it looks good on both of them. It's it a great really outfit. It does really look good on them, and it's such a modern twist um, on that era. And I think we have an, an, another look here. Yes, we do. Now, this is a more fitted um, look. It's still very masculine, very modern, not as kind of traditional as a Civil War look. But as you can see, there's the modern touch with the leather bag, the jeans are fitted, 
and it just looks classy and elegant. So I think it's just a great look. I think you could definitely wear this, Brian. You think so? Yeah, and it's it's. I feel like it's a day and night look. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? It's really sleek and sophisticated. So, yeah. Asha, are there cowboys in Australia? Is what is what I want to know. Um, have you never heard of Outback Steakhouse? No, I'm just kidding. That was actually invented by Americans. But yes, we do have cowboys in Amer in Australia. They're just as redneck. And I don't know if they have um, the funds to afford Chanel's menswear, menswear outfits, but um, hey, maybe they should to yeah. class it up a bit. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think they could wear some of these outfits out for a Friday night when they're taking their, their, their cowgirl lady friend for, for a nice Line dinner. dancing? Line dancing. <laughs> I love good line dancing. <laughs> Do you? I actually, I was, in, I was in Colorado this weekend and I went line dancing. I had so much fun. It was a real, real blast. Oh, and um, then we've got a picture of that. No, I'm just kidding. I, we actually, I wish. Well, speaking of Colorado, <laughs> yes, yes, I've been all, Colorado has been on my mind. Um, and obviously we can tell that Karl Lagerfeld was inspired by a, another major designer who r screams of Americana, uh, Mr. Ralph Lauren. And we found this amazing article that he was recently published in, in Architectural Digest, about his cabin in Colorado. So it's a real stunning look here. This is, uh, the cabin here is, um, it's a blue pony. It's called the Blue Pony Cabin. It's one of, it has five guest uh, rooms in it. And it's on his ranch in Colorado. It was built by century-old hand-hewn logs from Montana. This actually marks the 30th year of Lorenz's um, home collection. Um, he has gone from fashion into the design space. Here you see the home theater that he's got with all of the lovely threads on the leather sofas there that are all a part of his home collection. It's really, really sophisticated. Yeah, for someone who has five guest cabins, he better have a lot of damn people over his house. Well, let's check out the cabin <laughs> living room, the guest cabin living room. Um, like you said earlier, the devil is in the details. We were talking about this. Um, look at some of the amazing details in this guest, so guest uh, living room. Check out the chandelier. It's actually made from elk antlers. That's definitely an Americana take on a chandelier. Um, there's a lot of um, Indian and cowboy inspired rugs and tables mm -hmm. and, um, you know, tablecloths and stuff like that. And here's another living room here. There's a lot of, as you can see, the Aztec inspired rugs. And it just gives it a very um, homely, uh, rustic Americana, Indian Americana feel, I think. Ralph Lauren's got it down to a T with all those details. Mm -hmm. What is the, what does the bedroom look like? So the bedroom, here it is. So this bedroom, it, this once again reminds me of the kind of Civil War, the, the father and son wearing the Civil War outfit could totally live in this uh, bedroom. I think so. So he's got linens mixed with antique and vintage bedding on the cabin's 1870s cannonball bed. I don't know what that is, but it looks damn cool. A circa <laughs> 1900 hooked rug, two 1920s Navajo rugs are on the floor. So he's definitely got that um, great mix of country, western, civil war, and paying homage to um, the American Indian uh, design as I, well. I, I agree, it's really funny. Uh, not funny, but it's really <laughs> stunning. I don't know if it's yes. funny, but it's he really, really captures the homage to Americana. One of the things he also keeps on his property is a teepee. Of I don't course. know if you know that. Yes, he's got he's got teepees on there as well. This is really fascinating. This is it has um, all the designs on the outside of the teepee of the exterior is based in Indian ledger drawings. Um, and on the inside of the TP, he really decked it out. That he has is a rem crazy. <laughs> Isn't it stunning? Yeah, it's amazing. I would, I would love to stay in that TP. I, I cabin. would too. I hope he invites us over after the show. Same. A remnant. This is, has a remnant of the original chief's TP hangs over the Victorian cast iron bed, and it's topped with antique bedding and Ralph Lauren home shams. The chandelier is also Victorian. The interior of the Sheets teepee is ornamented with Edward S. Curtin photographs and a circa 1900 parade flag. The industrial cart table is from the same period. You know what I love about this house? That even yeah. though it's very rustic, cowboy looking, he has chandeliers yes, in the teepee, in the in the the, cab, the living room made out of elk antlers. You've got to have the chandeliers, Ralph. Exactly. I, I, I don't disagree. <laughs> Well, um, you know, if, if once you're hanging out with Ralph Lauren on his ranch in Colorado and you're there for a week, you're hanging out in the TP, you probably want, after a while with no television and you're cut off from all your cell phones, you yeah. probably are going to be doing some exercising, right? Right, Asha? Yeah, no, nah, I probably just want to eat ranch food, to be honest. But um, I might want to do some exercise after I eat a lot of food. So, <laughs> yes. What do you got for me, Brian? Okay. Well, L.com L .com this week did a great article for some lovely holiday gifts for the, for the fitness fanatic in your life. 
So let's take a closer look when you're hanging out with Ralph Lauren on the ranch there. You're probably gonna wanna sport one of these for your fashion. This is a Nike Fuel Band. It was just, it just released a new version of the popular Fuel Band. Um, and it knows uh, the tracker is no longer just a simple tool for measuring activity. It's in well documented as the tracker of choice for the fashionable set, joining Cartier and other fancy uh, baubles on many arms uh, and on, on many arms at a party. And you can find it um, at at Nike.com, and it comes in a rose gold for one sixty nine. Um, the next thing we have here is actually a really cool water, water jug here. This is a genuine little contraption, holds your gym ID, keys, and some cash in the side of the BPA-free leak-proof water bottle. And this goes for $13.50. You can find it at gocontigo.com. It's the Contigo Kangaroo water bottle with pocket. You see those little flaps pop out there. I think that's a real handy way. So if you don't want to actually go to the men's locker or the women's locker, you can just, and you're at the gym, you can just stuff everything right there and keep it with you while you're working out. That's such a genius idea. Kangaroo water bottles. Who would have thought? Exactly. I love it. Well, next up, here's something that I should probably invest in this winter. I'm going to San Francisco, it's going to be really cold. A Skidoo base layer top. So Sweaty Betty, one of our favorite UK workout wear brands, just opened its first US boutique in New York. Congratulations, guys. This cute yet functional cold weather base layer calls to mind a cozy ski sweater, but it's actually made from a slim fitting sweat wicking. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, quick drying fabric. This is really great if you are going to the snow or a cold place and you can still look fashionable. And this one, uh, you can get this one from sweatybetty.com for $95. That's really great winter fashion there. I do agree. Well, before we put that sweater on, you want to do a little more fashion inside, you can do, go do some Bikram yoga on this mat or just regular yoga as it were. This is a um, really, really cool uh, yoga yoga mat from um, Gayam. You can find it at gayam.com. It is a banyan and bow ultra dry hot yoga mat. So the fabric that they use on the mat doesn't make you have to actually put a towel over your mat. You can oh, just use good. this instead. And it's thirty nine ninety eight. I used to do a lot of yoga back in the day about 10, 12 years ago. So I would have loved to have this back then. This is the perfect Christmas gift for the yogi in your life indeed. Nice. And the final thing we have here is this really cool uh, resistance band set. This is very versatile. This is a classic workout gear here. Um, it's a set of three different types, and it gives you unlimited exercise options for resistance, which is a huge part of any fitness fanatic's workout routine. You can find this for a very reasonable $10.49 at Target, or uh, some people call it Target. Dot com. <laughs> have you ever done? Have you ever done yoga, Asha? Uh, no, I. Ha you know what? I have never done it. But I'm thinking now that it's winter, I would like to get into Bikram yoga because it's the hot yoga, and it'll probably keep me warm and fit. Yes. Have, you said you've done Bikram yoga before. I did. I did Bikram yoga for about a year, and I think I lost over the course of the year. I lost about ten to twelve pounds, and uh, I was in probably some of the best shape of my life. I think I may have to be re revisit revisiting the hot yoga studio sooner than later. I'll join later. you. <laughs> okay, great, great. All right, well, that is all the time we have today for TaylorMade. Uh, before we go, where can people find you, Asha? Well, you can check out everything that's happening with Girl Talk. Just go to girltalkhq.com. You can find me on Twitter, Asha Dyer. You can also find Girl Talk on Twitter and Instagram, just at girltalkhq. But um, girltalkhq.com is probably the easiest place to go. Excellent, excellent. And you can find us on Twitter at TaylorMadeBrian. And we'll see you um, actually, this is our last show of the week. We'll see you next week uh, on Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, be fashionable and keep styling. For more TaylorMade, visit us on EmpowerMe.tv, Dailymotion, and YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Until soon, stay fashionable.